Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel, it's me Glambe. Okay, I know the setup looks different, that's because we are in my bathroom. Get ready with me today as I go to the Oktoberfest, also known as Wiesen. For this series, we're going to be talking about different jobs and what you wear there. So I was like, bing, I'm going there. I might as well show you what the girls who work at this Wiesen from September to October wear as part of their uniform. And that is called a Diendel, which is a traditional German attire for females. And Lederhosen is for the males, so I have a Diendel. And it will be my first time wearing it, but first, let's do some makeup. Now, with my makeup, I already went in with this primer, which is a gel-based primer from Rival. It's called Hyaluron Primer, which is really good. And then I went in with this foundation from, I don't know if you guys can see that, this foundation from Infallible from L'Oreal. And with my eyebrows, I don't have anything yet. These are the remnants of microblading. So I'm gonna go in with this Lift and Style Lash by NYX. And I'm gonna just show you guys how I make the strokes real quick. So I can't, I'm not actually using a mirror, so this is gonna be a bit tricky for me, but you can see if you go in, it makes like these upward strokes. So I'm just gonna carry on doing that until I've filled in my brow. All right, as you guys can see, I've done my eyebrows and I'm going to go in with uh, the final touch with the concealer. And I just like to do that to clean it up. So I'm going to go underneath and at the top, I am using this um, Conceal Pro High Def Concealer by LA Girl in the color Cool Tan. So if you have a medium skin undertone or a warm undertone, this is the one for you. And to contour, I'm going to go with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in matte finish. Uh, I think this is Mocha. So that's what I'm going to use to conceal, create some cheekbones, and I'm using this flat brush. I know it looks kind of ratchet, but it is my trusty brush that I use for my eyebrows. I'm going to show you guys the first one, and then I will just do the second one in a little bit. So I'm so excited to be going to this. Um, I've been looking forward. We have something similar in South Africa called Oktoberfest, but it's nice to finally be in the country where they get it done. So I'm so excited. So as you can see, I'm going in under my eyebrow like that. Just cleaning up, you know, just cleaning up under there. And then I'm just going to go down and I'm going to repeat at the top. Okay. All right, so here's what that looks like. Um, I finished doing it with the concealer. Like I said, I'm not a professional makeup artist, but I do know what works for me and that's just what I'm gonna go with. And here I'm going to go in with my concealer just under my eyes, my forehead, and a little bit on the sides, and under my chin. So like I said, I'm just using the things that I have and I usually use this brush when I conceal and I'm just going to go in. I don't know why we always make these faces but we do. So I'm just going to push that up, upwards. As you can see I'm dabbing, I'm not fighting with it. I'm going to try to get under the eye as much as I can. And then I'm going to just go in here at the top and spread it. Just so I've seen people do their eyebrows and there's always like a huge difference where the concealer ends and when it comes in the middle. So make sure if you are interested in how I'm doing this to just go in there and spread it out, especially on your forehead. I don't know if blended here at the bottom. Just like that. So finally, I'm just going to take this and just kind of scoop it out from making these weird lines. Yeah. And I'm gonna stay like that <laughs> and grab my powder that's from Catrice and I'm gonna use the sponge to just keep that scooped out to avoid these weird 
creases. So I'm just going to conceal, put on some eyeshadow, and I'm going to show you guys the final look very soon. So I'm going to go in with this concealer right here, just a little bit. A little bit, and a little bit here, you know? We're just trying to create some definition. I don't want to look like I'm on RuPaul, you know? I mean, they do a great job, but this is just still during the day, you know? And you can see I'm just putting that upward and then I'm going to blend that. Spread that and blend just to create some definition. So I'm just taking that up, 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 up. I'm not going down. Something I learned from like other makeup YouTube people like Jackie Aina. I love her, she's really cool. Yeah, so I'm just gonna blend that out. Here we are, you guys can see I've sort of contoured very lightly. Now I'm gonna go in with this uh, eyeshadow primer by Kiko. And what it does, it just makes sure that your eyeshadow is, you know, doing the things that it's supposed to only take a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna go in here. And I just use my finger. I mean, it's not perfect, but it will mellow out. And I'm just gonna do that with the other eye. All right, as you guys can see, I already have my eyelashes. I do my own extensions. So if they're looking a bit wonky, please don't judge me. I'm not a professional, I'm still learning. So I don't need to put falsies on. I've got my primer and I'm gonna go in my, with my eyeshadow from Anastasia Steel called Soft Glam. And I'll be using the color Mulberry because it matches the skirt of my ghetto. All right, so you guys can see I've gone in with the Mulberry just to add some definition and I'm gonna go in with this brush for the orange soda at the top just to you know create this nice contrast of this light and dark colors and um, just to define my eye a little bit more and you can see I'm just literally going under the brow and I'm gonna go for this glistening it's called glistening I don't know if you guys can see it's called glistening and with the glistening I'm gonna go right here at the top just to add that little bit of shine because mama likes fancy things okay I like to shine and I'm just gonna go in there and so that's it for my eyeshadow and I'm gonna go in with the Kiko eyeliner and I'm going to go in with my blush and lip color stay tuned <laughs> Alright, so for the eyeliner, I'll be using this Kiko eyeliner. It's literally like a, a gel. I'm gonna open that and show you guys. Here it is. And I'll be using this um, flat brush to line under my eye. What I love about this is it stays on forever, girl. Okay, it's not going anywhere. So I'm just gonna get real close up in there and show you guys how I do it. All right, so I've done my eyeliner, as you guys can see, and now I'm going to put on my blush. I'm going in with um, this, I think it's just a normal brush. I just use it for my highlighter. I'm using Cheek Lover by Catrice, and I'll be using this Rouge Powder by Rival. I use both because one has shine and one is kind of like matte. So I'm just going in there and I'm just going from the top upwards. I don't want it all resting on my cheek. I would like to spread it out the darker one first, you know. And I'm not trying to look like Pennywise. And then I go in with this sort of gold shimmery one. You guys can see there. And then that's the one I put mostly on my cheek guys I'm not naked just so you know this is a <laughs> this is a dress that's kind of um, sleeveless just in case you're thinking what I am not naked okay and because it's gonna go into evening I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more as you know I'm a liker of things I just wanna go in mm -hmm. with this Catrice matte powder says uh, shine control powder and I just used this sponge I have to 
go over. I don't press too hard, but especially where I get oily, like my T-zone, my forehead and stuff. That's where I really just go in with this powder. I know most people use a setting powder, but I found that um, it has flashback for me. Maybe I just need to find the right one. But when I take pictures, I look like a ghost. And I'm thinking, why? <laughs> So to avoid looking like a ghost, I'm just gonna go in with this one. And it still works. I mean, it gets the drop done. It's translucent, so it doesn't feel like I'm overly caked up or anything like that. So that's what we're gonna do. Guys, I haven't done a makeup video in so long. So if this one's not perfect, <laughs> please do not eat me up in the comments. Like I said, I'm just doing my own thing, how I usually do my makeup when I go on. So I don't usually wear foundation because I don't like so much stuff on my skin. So this is a special occasion, why not? Now when I'm finished, I'm going to go in with a set. This one by Rival as well. I just like Rival. I think they're pretty cool. And so I just spray And I take a fluffy brush, spray on the brush and just air it up and then just lightly go over my face. Very lightly, don't beat yourself up, just lightly. And now it's time for the lipstick. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so with the lipstick, I'm going in with the Wet Shine Lipstick by Trend It Up. And it's in the color 40. It doesn't have a sexy name. That's just what it says here. And I got this from a store called DM, which is like the disc cam of Germany. So it's just like a nice pink. And I'm not going to do too much. And then I just take this edgy side and this line a little bit. I naturally have this lip line so I don't have to use lip liner but it's always good just to balance it out I mean I like it the way it is you can add some lip gloss if you want to and I'll just uh, let my hair go I still have to style my hair but this is the gist of it um, you guys should be able to see the whole finished look in just a little bit and yes this is my visa makeup i hope you guys like it it's very simple very summery lots of pinks goes with my apron that i'll be wearing and in a little bit i'll be showing you the complete look i'm so excited and voila this is my final look for the visa just a quick look at the skirt and yeah thank you guys for watching i will see you very soon don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe at glampe underscore official. Have a lovely day.